Well, it is uh, my great privilege to baptize my youngest daughter this morning, Bryn, and uh, she, thankfully, she asked me to do it for her, and she wanted her, as of at the moment, favorite brother-in-law to be in the, in the, uh, be in here with her. So uh, we're going to baptize you this morning, but we want to hear a little bit about your testimony. Three years ago, as a nine-year-old sinner, I accepted Christ as my Savior once and for all and instantly felt overwhelming peace. But there I stopped. I ignored the idea of baptism because I felt I wasn't ready. In truth, though, I was just scared. Ever since my personal salvation, I have been less terrified to face my fears. But it publicly admitting that I was a sinner in need of unhindered redemption and letting myself be the center of attention from the entire church, I couldn't do. Until this... Until, until that is, when my close friend made a profession of her faith a few months ago through baptism. I started considering it more seriously and eventually decided to do it, but I was still scared. But God led me to two stories of brand new believers wasting no time to be baptized, and I felt personally convicted for waiting three long years, and so I'm waiting no longer. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, he is holy and just to forgive. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Three years ago, I privately believed, and this is my public confession. Well, I can think of no greater privilege as a, as a parent to know that your children are walking with the Lord. So, let me ask you three quick questions. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord? Yes. Do you believe that he died and rose again? Yes. Have you placed your trust in Christ alone for forgiveness of your sins and for eternal life? Yes. Well, because of your confession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you as not only as not only my daughter, but also my sister in the Lord. So I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for your beautiful and welcoming kingdom uh, where uh, all we must do is confess and believe and then we get to enter in. Lord, I thank you so much for this sister of mine. Um, I pray your, your spirit would be all over her, that she would experience your peace and your comfort and all of the fruits of your spirit moving forward. Lord, I thank you for this kingdom that she gets to enter, and I pray that her mind would be filled with the creativity of how to spread that kingdom, as she's already doing with the young ladies here in this church. And Lord, I pray your blessings over her. In Jesus' name, amen.